days a week, this is where you will find 41-year-old Nick Chisholm, training as part of his long-term rehab. 13 years ago, Chisholm was injured in a rugby accident and suffered a series of strokes. It's given him a condition what they call locked-in syndrome, and originally he was um, um, diagnosed as being quadriplegic, so never to be able to move again at the study, couldn't even open his eyelids. Locked-in syndrome means his brain is fully functional, contrary to his muscles. He stayed in hospital for two years following the injury and has slowly started to find movement in his body again. His next goal though may surprise a few people when he competes in not one but two bodybuilding competitions later this year. The big one that we're, we're shooting for is uh, South Island Champs in September which is in Dunedin here. Waldron will help Chisholm on stage with his movements and poses and for someone diagnosed as quadriplegic Waldron thinks Chisholm's attempt may set the bar high. There was a few wheelchair federations and stuff like that being done, but for a guy that's actually quadriplegic, I, I don't think it's, it's maybe even a world first. Chisholm is unable to speak, but communicates with Waldron and others through a board. L O O K, looking. Yeah, he's looking forward to it, but he's um, pretty nervous about everyone watching. Waldron says training and watching Chisholm's road to recovery is one of the most rewarding things a person can witness. I love, I love every minute of it, um, more so because of where he was and how limited, you know, he wasn't even expected to live, he was just a shell for, for, so, for so long. Waldron says Chisholm's main focus remains rehabilitation, but the coach is quietly confident Chisholm will be in good nick come competition time. And when he makes his way onto stage, it should serve as motivation to everyone. Maybe you're having a bad day and you can't be bothered going in and training. Take one look at our, one of our training videos and, you know, you're in there doing it. If he's doing it, then there's no reason why anyone else shouldn't be. And with what Chisholm has already overcome, you could doubt that his life goal lies in the gym. Uh, e H A B Rehab is my life. John McKenzie, 39, Dunedin News.